Hi, I'm Tara Stiles. Did you know that yoga will improve your sex life and de-stress you too? Life gets crazy. We feel like we're standing on our head all the time. But let's go get grounded talking yoga. It's been a stressful week. You need to decompress for the weekend. Join me with Tara Stiles on Be Well Weekend where we talk about yoga and everything in between. Yoga is meditation in action. When you're tired, it can energize you. When you're stressed out, it can relax you. When you can't sleep, it can help you sleep. When you're feeling depressed, it can invigorate you. So the beauty of yoga is it optimizes the functioning of all your organ systems, of your hormones, of your nervous system, of your digestive system, of your reproductive system. I see it all the time with my patients. People who have a regular yoga practice are generally healthier and happier and actually have better sex lives. Yoga is an experiential modality. You have to do it. If Absolutely. you don't do it, you don't get the results. Exactly. It doesn't, you know, you can read about it all you want. You can go see movies about it, talk about it, wear the beads, drink the tea. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> but if you practice it, then you're connecting with yourself. You used to be a model, so this is a major life change for you. So how has yoga helped you personally? Well, um, I grew up around a lot of space and in the country and I kind of did yoga and, and dance and things like this growing up where I felt good and then when I moved to New York some of that gets lost. It's crazy here and you know lots of lots of things can happen. So for me yoga helped bring me back to that feeling I had when I was a little kid, helped to reconnect me to my intuition, helped me trust my intuition and also helped me find a really good sense of ease in my body and in my mind. So whenever I feel kind of tight or cramped or stressed or stuck, you do a little bit of yoga and that ease comes right back. Everyone knows that yoga relaxes you and you feel better, mm -hmm. but why do you think it helps your sex life? I think so many reasons. I mean, a lot of the organs in your body, a lot of things are functioning a lot better. So it really helps you to be in the moment and focus and be present. So a lot of the problems that people have in their sex lives these days is they're, they're not in the moment. It really helps you kind of embrace that moment and, and breathe with that. It's a weekend and we maybe have a little bit more time, but what's a simple or some simple poses that we can do on the weekend that are easy and we won't hurt ourselves and we'll still feel good doing them? Pigeon is a great one, helps get into your hips, your back, your brain, calms everything and leaves you feeling refreshed and great. So we'll just start in an easy low lunge. You definitely want to make sure you go slow and if there's problems in the knees or back or anywhere, just back off if there's anything that doesn't feel good. So if it feels even nicer, just walk it on forward. And because it's the weekend, you can hang out here for as long as you like, read the paper. so good <laughs> for the hips. And we in the West have such tight hips. Partly it's because we sit too much. So I think this is a really good position for loosening up our hips. And when you're at home, make sure to do the other side. Okay, so just come up to stand, nice and easy. So this is just a simple sun salutation routine. So standing nice and tall, take a big inhale, reach your arms all the way up. And then as you exhale, gently fold up and over your legs here. Relax the knees a little bit here, so there's a little bit more space in the hamstrings. And then press your palms firmly into the ground. We're just gonna step back into a downward dog here. Nice, so the heels are reaching down toward the ground, hips lifting up and back, and maybe even move a little side to side. And then we'll come into a plank pose from here, just the top of your push-up, top of your head reaching forward. And then real simply ease your knees down to the ground, and we'll lower all the way down to the ground so you're lying on your belly. And then we'll open up the chest here, press your palms on the ground, lift your chest up just a little ways, maybe even sway a little side to side if that feels good in the back. And then keeping your knees on the ground, gently shift your hips up and back to sit on your heels for a nice child's pose, relax your forehead. And then coming out of this one, we'll come back onto your hands and knees again, spread your fingers, tuck the toes big, and how to lift your hips up and back to your downward dog. And then this time, just slowly start to walk your feet up toward your hands, one step at a time and just folding inward. And we'll roll up to stand one vertebra at a time. Once you do, make it all the way up your head and neck are elastic, a big inhale, lift your arms right up, big stretch. And then as you exhale, just relax your arms all the way back down. Mm. You feel good? Feels great. So if you have a little bit more time on the weekends, you can cycle through that as many times as you like. What are the basic tools that people need to avoid injuries? 
the frame of mind of being easy in your body and not pushing yourself if something hurts. It doesn't mean to push through it until it doesn't hurt. If something doesn't feel right, then just back out of it. Just take it upon yourself to be responsible for your own, your own body and how you feel that day. It's the weekend. You got more time. Ideally, try find a yoga class with a teacher. Having a yoga teacher teach you yoga is by far the best way to learn yoga. Ideally, find a partner, your spouse or a friend to go to yoga classes with. Create some space in your home. Having a quiet space at home is really helpful. Switch off the phone, switch off your email, make some private time for yourself so you're not disturbed. Make it a ritual. If you can do yoga at the same time every day, it'll make things much easier. I'm Dr. Frank Lippmann, helping you be well today and every day. Aside from the fact that plastic absolutely leaches into whatever you buy, it's, it goes in the landfill where it lasts longer than the pyramids. Great um, art and great language will disappear and that plastic water bottle will still be alive. to quit your job and live the life you've always dreamed of. You're really living the dream, I would imagine, the expat dream. I feel more free here than I do in the States. This is it, man. Yeah. This is the life. Join me, Savannah Jane Buffett, as I follow Jameson Whitbeck, a native of Vermont who dreamt of building wooden boats and after college did just that. It wasn't long before he moved his wife and kids down to the Virgin Islands to become a charter captain of his very own handcrafted catamaran. First time we moved, we had, I mean, no money in the account. One, two, three. I think there's advantages and disadvantages wherever you are. It's just a trade off, and you choose which ones you want to live with. So, this is what it's all about, right? You get to take your kids down to the beach. Absolutely. Congratulations on making your life worth living. living. Yes.